Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's M. How are you doing today? I hope everyone is doing well. I'm super excited for this video today because we are going to be visiting other creators' islands. It's pretty common to frequently get stuck or burnt out when designing your island and I'm also in need of some inspiration. This video is specifically for those that are wanting to challenge themselves when it comes to terraforming and need some help gathering ideas. First up, this island is a pretty similar theme to mine and I'm happy that I've stumbled upon it. This one build is kind of like a double incline where they have them almost vertically aligned but not quite and then moving up to the third level. I love how when you reach the top you can view the shopping district down below. I'm definitely going to recreate this on my island it's the perfect example to use for the trail that I recently built. This is kind of like how I imagined it, honestly. The next island is absolutely stunning. They also have the double stairs going on up here. But what I'm really excited to show you is this viewpoint. Look how beautiful this lake is. They have the boats out there on the horizon and it looks as if they're actually floating on the water. This is a lot of waterscaping, but creating a huge lake like this does take up a lot of space. So it's a perfect idea to try out if you have a large amount of space left on your island. We have another beautiful island with some waterscaping done. I love this little lake and how there's a bridge that connects to the middle, leading you to a stunning view. This lake isn't as grand compared to the previous island, but this looks just as amazing. I really love the little island in the middle where you can still hang out and admire the views. This is definitely going to be another one that I'm going to try to recreate as well. We are still on the same island for this next one. I wanted to show y'all this little build here. I love that there's a bridge leading to the secret beach. It's so simple yet it looks really beautifully thought out. If you don't know what to do or what to decorate your secret beach entrance with, a bridge is a lovely addition. I couldn't find the creator socials for this build, but I'll have their dream address listed in the description. Here we have a sunken waterfall with a little land bridge. I don't believe it leads anywhere, but this is such a beautiful build to admire regardless. I love to see builds with a sunken lake or waterfalls. It's low-key a pain to build for me in my opinion, but it's so worth it. I also really love seeing land bridge builds as well because they're so easy to create. This next build is all about symmetry. I love the double bridge moment going on here. Going to the right side leads to a little chill hangout spot and to the left leads to a neighborhood area. This build looks so aesthetically pleasing. I also love that there's a waterfall in the back as well. Even the entrance leading to the double bridges is symmetrical. This building is just absolutely stunning. The next idea is a small and simple one, but it's a great addition. It's a little mini land bridge. I love this one so much. I love that they used the co-design for the planks and then the panels for the railings. It's just a cute little build that I had to show y'all. And just around the corner of the little mini bridge is the stunning sunken waterfall passageway, which then leads to a little lake. It's another great example of a land bridge, but with waterscaping. This build is so well done and just absolutely beautiful. We 
We are still on the same island again. I just had so much fun exploring this one. I love all the terraforming that's done on this island so I had to show y'all more. I love the idea of having a villager on their own separate island. It really gives introvert vibes and I love that. Here is yet again another example of a land bridge. This one is a little curved instead of just having it into like a straight line which is nice. And then I also had to show y'all the terraforming near this villager's home. It isn't much, it's super simple, but I just love it. We are at the last island. This is truly a forest core build. I love the abundance of pine trees in this area. This build looks simple yet still stunningly beautiful. We have the waterfalls in the back and into the river here. There is quite a bit of waterscaping on this island, but it's still so stunning. To the left side is also another gorgeous view. I love that the land is separated into like mini islands, but just look how beautiful this is. I love that there are multiple directions of water flow here and not just one solid pathway for the water to flow. And that is it for this video. I had such a wonderful time exploring these islands and it's definitely given me a ton of inspiration as I hope it has with you. I'm certainly going to be doing more of these kinds of videos in the future so that both you and I can gain inspiration. Thank you to the creators that have shared their islands with us. I'll have their socials and dream addresses in the description box if you'd like to go check them out for yourself. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye!